salvage one single round more in that first half would have been a very different game. But, Adren, he's certainly ready. Mm -hmm. He's given us the old one Ooh. too. Oh, he will. Gets his uh, revenge for the last round. The issue is so many players here. Whoa. They're going in what? one at a time. And Olaf on the other side of this smoke. Three kills to his name. He has sent NIP packing. The apartments belong to Olaf. And now Lecro and Dennis asked to 2v5. You mentioned how these four spies have been finding a scary amount of success. And that trend might continue here on the back of Olaf alone. Lecro. Looking keen to try and flush him out, but now with this crossfire set up, even as Lecro gets the first man, Olaf's going to put him down. He's on for the ace, and is he going to get it? Dennis on the other side yeah. with a nade. Hey. Olaf, what an ace, what a play, what a man. Up in the apartments, and FaZe steal around. Who's now going to be at this B-bomb site to help pad things out even more. Olaf is here, and he's currently 9-0. He's playing the uh, little boost spot, flash oh, in for rain, lots of damage found, and he spots absolutely everyone in this NIP squad up in the apartments. These rotations are already coming in, so the kills have to come through for NIP, and they have found the first man. Olaf over at short, has Nico here to help him out. The crossfire between them is shutting this down, and everybody falls for NIP. Below this shot from... Now that leaves Forrest in the hot seat, one-on-one. -on -one. Forrest has had a scary amount of these clutch situations go his way, though, and Olaf, that'll be fresh in his mind. One time it's ticking down, Smoke is on it. Olaf trying oh. to find it, but he can't, and this is costing precious oh. time. He still can't find it. Olaf, finally he gets it, but the smoke is gone, and Forrest going to peek on the back of it. Look at that plant, though. I mean, I've not seen that plant before. That's that's a wide plant. Apparently, conversion as well off this, because Rain and Nico, they need a huge two on five to take this one back. Forrest close in the corner. Rain expects it. Quick kill. Oh, dear. Rain's doubled it. There's another man up close, and Dennis will be able to trade. It's now just Nico. Bomb plant open. Lecker in the connector, and a Molotov that won't be able to work because the smoke is on the bomb, and Nico's gone for the peak. Another kill from the man himself, and he could stick this defuse. Does Lecker know the lineup? That's the question. It's a no. He's spraying, and Nico stuck the bomb. He's won the round. Two on five for FaZe Clan in the post plant, and they win it out. So it doesn't spell anything but disaster here. Olaf in the B-bomb site right now. NIP still, uh, you know, two players in rotation. Not, oh, sorry, not in rotation despite spotting the bomb. Dennis is going to be able to defend and Rez getting two as well from the sandwich. This is a weird round for FaZe. They showed the bomb on B, trying to force rotations off A and then burst out the A site. For some reason, I don't know why, NIP see the bomb and they keep three players on that A site and FaZe walk into their death. So... Maybe a convoluted pistol round there, and not falling for it, although Olaf will find Dennis, and anything is possible, but not this round, apparently. NIP. Oh, Dennis, spotting out this attempted mid-wrap, so now all the pressure going to fall onto the ramp players, and Rez has already deleted a dread, it's Guardian. Peeking up over the top of Palace to find the first man, but only five seconds, that bomb's going to go down, and he does deal oh, with the man no. at the bomb site, but there's no time. He's going to try and keep up this pace. He just speeds his way to short. Spots a player on the A site, but would rather get the pick to B. He misses the taps. And last year for NIP in a very, uh, sorry, for, for FaZe in a very claustrophobic round. Misses that opportunity he's given there. Oh, Rez, very what? lucky to be alive. Just keeps on. Get right, cannot stop the bomb plant. Nico can just stick it at the back of default and it crosses held by Olaf Meister. It's going to come down to one man and one man only to keep this map alive for NIP. And there's the first. And now just Nico stands between get right and overtime here in this first map from 12 3 down. It's overtime oh. on the cards, but Nico's not going to let it happen. Phase six. He's nine of EPL, and Phase, well, they are loving the changes, Harry. 11 4 on the first half of the second map here. Adren, you know, not watching ping pong yeah. on that <laughs> monitor. <laughs> Well, Molotov will force him off the angle a bit with two players wrapping up from Whoa. CT. Dennis is hard pressed to stay alive here. Rain uh. gives him a chance though, and Dennis in with the first man. Nico, quick double to keep things in favor of the FaZe Clan side. In with his third of the round. Finally silenced by Lecro, but Nico oh. might have done enough here. Guardian gonna drop the man in CT, and it's Forrest alone. Open hand, no armor behind it. The aim punch gonna pull. A victory. NIP are going to need to give away a round, allow FaZe to take 13 before their first AK buy-in. They're going to make it nice, nice and quick with the B-Rush. 
Yeah, these nades are already fighting a lot of damage. Olaf, good night. And uh, Dennis, he falls as well. Olaf rolling in money. And vote, Chad will be bringing you his thoughts and why that you're wrong in who wins that later on. I don't know. I think there's a pretty big candidate that I think even Chad would have to agree is the big moment in yeah. this time around. Right, the Olaf uh, ace into the apartments Could feels like should be winning it. I mean, there's definitely been other big moments. But anyway, last round potentially for Nip in this map. Oh, and Guardian. That so. It certainly looks like it could be now. Just Dennis Rez and Lecro. Still in control, but our servers aren't apparently as we uh, take a quick moment back.